Hey friends, it's Jennifer from Cottage on Bunker Hill. And today I want to show you this. I found this at the thrift store for like a couple bucks. I don't know. I just grabbed it, even though like that detail was a little ugly and I've had it for like a year. Anyway, I just figured out that this little stuff is just rattan and you can cut it right off. And then you're left with like this cool looking, well, except for this stuff, we're going to fix that today like a cool looking ceramic vessel. It's like totally giving me like anthro vibes. So I thought we could do a quick little makeover and use it in my fall decor. Just gonna take some, like some dark brown paint. Let's see if I can kind of fill in some of this detail here a little bit. Let's see what this paint is super thick. I have to thin it out a little bit. All right, I need to dilute this paint. It's thick, a little bit thick. It's a little old. Let me just try to put a little water in. I just kind of want to make a wash, like this was going on, like put it. Maybe I'll just, I might just go over it quick and then wipe most of it off just to see if it'll kind of take to that, all those light spots. Cause I don't mind the, the brown. It's almost like a bronzy brown. I'm thinking maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of copper paint to it. I am like super crushing on copper this fall. Let's see if this will work. I'm really into like browns and natural elements this fall. And then let me carefully try to wipe some of this off. Oh yeah, that's That might work. Yeah, it's looking a little better already. This may be a really quick video. This side I might have to hit again. I'm gonna get a little more brown. Let me pick that up one more time. I really need more paper towels. Can someone run up and get them for me? Just wipe away a little bit of that excess paint and see if it covers those wonky lines. Oh yeah, I'm digging this so far. Let's see. We'll let that dry and then I'm gonna add, I think I have, I have like a, a dark, like a metallic-y, this is called antique copper. I think I'm going to go over that with that next. But I think that's going to be really pretty. That's going with my whole fall vibe. This is the antique copper paint. It's really pretty. And let's just start with a little bit and let's see how it goes. I don't want to overdo it. Oh yeah, I think this is going to Oh yeah, I think this is gonna be really pretty. Thrift store for the win, people. Yeah, definitely like this. How pretty this is. This is gonna be nice. Not that I didn't think it was gonna be. Sometimes you you never really know until you start doing a project. 
how it's really going to go. Yeah, I like that, guys. Yeah, I think this is going to work. This is going to look good. We actually might have to wait till tomorrow because it's getting dark. I don't know how good my video will come out upstairs. Yeah. Hey, pretty good for like a five minute project. All right, I'll see you in the morning, people. Good morning, friends. Freshly showered, ready to take on another week. Well, really, not really, no. Not even a little bit. Need another cup of coffee. Mondays aren't easy. But look, how cute is this? Oh, there goes the flowers we're gonna put in it. I love it. It has been sitting in my basement for like a year with that ugly thing on it. I could have been using it the whole time. So I'm really digging, like I had said before, natural colors, natural elements for this fall. So I have a couple things we're gonna try. I have, this is what fell on the floor. So I have some like that slightly rusty, creamy color eucalyptus. This was from Michael's. Um, I have some of these little brown flowers. These were from Michael's as well. And I picked up a few packs of these pods. They're from, if you have a Trader Joe's, go there right now after you watch me. They have these packages of pods for $2.99. They're so cool. $2.99. So for a few minutes of my time, just a few dollars on the flowers, I put together a really high-end looking fall arrangement. It would probably cost well over $100 if you tried to get it online from one of the high-end stores that we all love. We love them. We just don't love the prices. Thank you for watching today. I'm Jennifer Howard from Cottage on Bunker Hill. I hope you come back next time to learn, create, and decorate with me. Just lay your thoughts on mine Give yourself room to breathe Not trying to offend you But you keep bottling this up I want you to breathe